Hey guys, it's the 9th of April today and spring is really kicking off now. Um, you can hear the bird song. Well, hopefully you can. Um, yeah, it's really, really lovely. Um, I thought I'd do a little greenhouse tour. So I've just been up potting a few things. So the greenhouse is a bit of a mess, even though, to be honest, it's always a bit of a mess. But, um, but yeah, we've got quite a lot going on. We've got peaches. Um, that have set. So this is peregrine peach, really, really delicious peaches last year. Um, so I'm quite excited to see how many I get. I mean, a lot of them will probably drop and then I probably will have to thin them out because it is only a small little tree, um, which is, you know, it's in ground. This is my one in ground plant in the greenhouse. Um, but it's, uh, it's looking really healthy. The only thing is it did have, I think I mentioned in previous videos, it did have some sort of canker. Um, so I was going to take it out, but it looks really, really healthy now. So I might leave it and see how it does this season. Um, same story on the nectarine. This is actually in a pot. It's about 15 to 20 litres, I think, the pot. Um, and you can see little nectarine fruits have set. Um, so the, the nectarines are smooth, whereas the peaches are like kind of fluffy. Um, but yeah, it's set quite a lot of fruit and I'm hoping, I got some fruit last year, but it they got eaten by ants and they were tiny anyway. Um, I'm hoping that this year I will get to try my first homegrown nectarine. Um, so quite excited for that. Um, the citrus department is not, is not going so well at all, to be fair. Um, I found out the other day that my... Um, my satsuma that I, I bought, which was really, really healthy when I bought it, um, it's starting to def defoliate quite a lot. I'm not entirely sure why. I, w I did think maybe it was lack of water because although I've, you're not meant to really water them in the winter, in the greenhouse it does get up to like 20 degrees or something on a sunny day, even if the outside temperature is like 5 degrees or something. So... Potentially lack of water. Oh, I don't know. It's not looking that good at all, to be honest. Um, I think I'm going to have to buy some specialist citrus feed. I have fed it, but maybe I need something a bit stronger. I don't know. Um, I'm hoping at the very least that if it does drop all of its leaves, that it does sprout back out um, once it's acclimatised to being in its new container and its new place. Um but yeah, we'll see, see how that does. I'm not brilliant at keeping citrus alive at all. Um, you can tell there the grapefruit's looking pretty, <laughs> pretty ragged as well. Has got some fruits on it, which I think are probably quite close to being ripe. Um, but the plant itself is a little bit all over the place. So I think I need to have a real look at my citrus this year and um, try and figure out what I'm doing wrong. I mean, there are some plants like the calamondin that have just always been quite healthy. And that's in a tiny little pot. It's in the 10 litre pot. It's always been really healthy and it's got little fruits on. Um, so yeah, some of them seem to be all right. Some of them not so much. So yeah, anyway, I'll look into that. Um, figs are starting to put out some good growth now. So yeah, the Viduno del Nord is, is really coming to life. It's really lovely leaves. This one is like super glossy. Um, and it's got a little braber on there. At least I think it's a braber. It's like... It's in the axle between the old growth and, and the new growth. So I, I don't know if that counts as a Braba or not, or if that is a main crop. Um, I think it probably is a Braba because it's it sprouted before any of the others. But um, yeah, figs doing well. And I finally got, um, I had two cuttings of the variety Smith which I had a lot of trouble trying to root, had to take them out, cut off the mouldy bits, try it again, finally got them rooted and the, putting out good leaves as well. So quite happy with that. Um, that's, um, yeah, thanks to Carl for that, if you're watching. Um, and uh, yeah, then I've got all my annual stuff. So the annual stuff I'm actually fairly, doing fairly well with. It's It seems to be the... Uh, the perennials that I, <laughs> I seem to kill off quite a lot. Um, so we've got some lovely chili peppers here. Um, I'm not going to pot these up because they've 
they're not really they've still got a lot of space to grow in this little seed tray um, the aubergines are doing really well now putting out some lovely big leaves I've just potted up a couple of them into slightly bigger pots um, the variety of these was called Jesse I think I might have got mixed up because I swear I thought that the, the sugar snap peas I had was the variety called Jesse unless they both were maybe but I don't know um, tomatoes doing really well so these these bush tomatoes um, variety Aurora Aurora <laughs> that's hard to say um, I potted several of those up now so they're in decent sized containers and yeah hopefully by May I should be able to plant those out um, these are the Irish ch uh, Irish gardeners delight cherry tomato um, so these are a little bit smaller so I'm gonna leave these for now um, and then yeah I've got my squash which is Uchiki curry Japanese squash nice little orange round squash I haven't tried it before but I, I wanted to give it a go they're doing really well um, they're gonna form a good ground cover at my allotment to help keep the weeds down and then obviously hopefully produce fruit um, I've got sweet potatoes I'm gonna do a video soon on sweet potatoes on how to grow them from last year's sweet potatoes because it's not you can't just well they say that you can't just plant the tuber I assume because maybe it would then flower and put all the energy into flowering as opposed to producing more tubers um, so you can't you can't treat it as like a normal potato so yeah I've um, got quite a few of these little plants now I think these two have rooted there's there's some more back here that I've just cut off the 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 tubers that were I'm I'm sort of root, not rooting sprout, <coughs> sorry sprouting upstairs um, in my room so uh, I've got yeah six six of those plants now and if they all root then that's brilliant um, what else what else have I got I mean I've just got some lovely parsley here um, really really sweet tasting. Um, the, the rest of the herbs haven't done very well at all. Um, I've done The parsley's done amazing. See how much parsley I've got. Loads of it. Um, coriander, I've got like a couple of little plants that did sprout. I think these got attacked by snails. Um, the basil just hasn't come up. So maybe the seed was just not viable or it's because the temperatures have only just really picked up. So um, yeah, I need to plant a few more herbs. I've got melons upstairs that are growing, just just starting to sprout. I'll show you them like in a, in a few weeks' time when they're coming along. Um, and yeah, that's that's mostly it really. Um, yeah, then just sort of figs, figs dotted around. Um, black Madeira, which is a true black Madeira. So, and it's got little figlets on, right down there. So that would be really cool to see how that does. If I get fruit this year, see how it tastes compared to my um, my fake black Madeira over here. Um, so yeah, that's the greenhouse. So I hope everyone's doing well. And um, I hope that you are much better at growing citrus than I am. Um, so lots of love, guys. Lots of peace. And yeah, I'll speak to you soon.